Hi guys, Darth Thuses here, back in the Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Today, taking a look at another member of the Bad Batch from Season 2. It is Omega's uh, look from Season 2. This is a mainline release, I'm pretty sure. Um, she's the only mainline release out of all of her squad mates. Um, the rest of the Bad Batch are all Walmart exclusives, um, but Omega here is a standard release. I imagine that's because all the rest are at that exclusive price point, which they can probably get away with for full size figures. But for a small figure like Omega, the standard reel price is already a pretty big stretch for this figure. So making it the exclusive price point, like who would have bought this for this that price? Not me, that's for sure. Honestly, it's hard to even stomach the full normal retail price for a figure this small. But um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Omega, uh, a figure I didn't pre-order. I found this actually in GameStop. Um, it was one of those figures where if I was able to get my hands on the Walmart exclusive Bad Batch characters, then I'd pick this figure up to go with them. If I couldn't get those figures, then I would just pass on this figure. And this figure is actually quite good, I will say. Um, I think it's better than the first Omega. Uh, I think it's done pretty well. But uh, yeah, I still wouldn't have gotten it. It's not really, it's like one of those figures that's just, unless you really like Omega, uh, on her own, I guess. It's just not one of those figures that really goes on its own. It's kind of like you either get her if you're going to get the other Bad Batch members or you don't. But uh, taking a look at the head sculpt and face printing, she does come with an interchangeable head sculpt. We'll take a look at it in a bit. But she comes packed with the head sculpt that has the hat on. And I like that both the head sculpts you'll see have different facial expressions. And I like that when she's wearing her hat, when you're, you know, in theory, she'd be in action when wearing the hat or helmet or whatever this is supposed to be so she's got a bit more of a sterner look on and i really like the face printing and uh face sculpt on this uh, figure it looks in my opinion both head sculpts look a lot better than the first season one omega figure um i don't know what it is just looks a lot more realistic i guess like an actual like realistic human where um the old one kind of looked almost clone wars even though it was supposed to be uh realistic designed um, her headgear here is painted pretty nicely. You got her hair poking out at the back. Um, looks pretty good. Torso, all new sculpting. Got this little bandolier here. You have this comm link that is painted but is not removable, unfortunately. It would have been kind of cool if that was a removable accessory. Um, but uh, it is what it is. She's got a pretty plain looking red tunic underneath her little coat here. It's a nice sculpted and painted detail. I like the sleeves are rolled up. It looks nice. And then you just got the arms, nothing too special. I got a bit of a red wrap around the one wrist there. And then the belt with some pouches. And then the legs are complete reuse from the first Omega figure, just uh, repainted. Um, so there's not a whole lot to talk about. Uh, it's a good looking figure. Uh, and I think the head sculpt and face printing is a vast improvement over the first release. In terms of articulation, you got a dumbbell joint at the base of the head as well as the base of the neck. So she has looks up a decent amount looks down a lot um pivots a lot as well she's got kind of a long neck um it's not quite as noticeable when she with the head sculpt with the hat on and depending on the angle and how you have the head articulated it's not super noticeable but i find it's more noticeable with the other head sculpt on which i will show soon um but you have that articulation there shoulder joints you have uh, hinges that go out go down rotate i don't believe there's a pivot joint in there the figure's probably too small for that but uh you know black series figures don't really have uh, great pivot or butterfly joints anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Single hinges at the elbows, they move about 90. Swivels at the wrist, up and down hinge at the right hand, in and out at the left hand. A torso joint that goes back a, a bit, doesn't really crunch forward too much. Pivots a bit and then does rotate. It's kind of tight, but you will rotate. It's not actually that bad, never mind. And then you got the ball joints at the hips that move out about that far. Uh, out a bit that much for some reason this uh, thigh likes to kind of gap at the joint you can't just push it back in it's no problem but i do find it likes to split like that a bit but swivel cuts at the thighs single hinges at the knees that do go past 90 swivel cut at the boot and then a hinge at the ankles with rocker joints for pivot so she's got pretty good articulation you'll be able to get i would say probably most of the poses that you would want out of this character so that is good in terms of accessories um she comes with a, a bit of stuff. Um, like I said, I guess I'll show that interchangeable head sculpt. The head is easy to pop on and off, and she comes with a head sculpt that doesn't have her headgear on. And I really like this one. She's 
a bit more casual, so she got a bit of a smile on the go. I think this head sculpt looks really nice. The face printing looks really nice. The hair sculpt looks really good as well. So very happy with that. But like I said, I do feel like this figure just is a little bit pencil necked. Her neck does look a little long. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It, I think it looks a little long, especially with this head sculpt. Um, I don't know why. It just is. But I am happy with how this looks. Uh, I did want to see if this could go on the old figure, but I don't think the ball joints are the same size. Also, every time I remove the head on the old figure, the dumbbell joint comes with the head, and I can't get the dumbbell joint out of the head, so I just gave up. But uh, in theory, you could maybe... It might be require some more sculpting, but you you could maybe put that head on the other old figure. And I think this head sculpt actually looks pretty good on that figure. Um, but uh, yeah, that looks good. And she comes with the same laser uh, bow thing that she had in the first time around. I believe it's the exact same accessory, but it's painted and sculpted nicely. Getting her hold, it's kind of iffy. Um, she can't hold it in a kind of it shooting pose, but... Uh, it's not the greatest looking just because of the size of the bow and then the size of the character and the articulation that you're given uh, is a little awkward looking, but you do get that. But cool thing that you get that it would be nice you got with the first release is you actually get the collapsed version of the bow and it's stored. So that's pretty cool. And she can hold it, but it also has a little peg and there's a little hole on the back of the bandolier. You can actually plug that on her back for storage. And I think that looks really cool. I like that a lot. But uh, that's pretty much it for the figure itself. So I guess lastly, I guess just for comparisons. Um, here she is with the first Omega, Season 1 Camino Omega. Um, whatever you want to call it. As you kind of see how they look. She's a bit taller. I feel like it's because of the neck. I feel like the old figure, the neck was almost too short. And on this one, the neck's too tall, too long. But uh, you can kind of see the differences there. And you can kind of see the differences in the head sculpt. Like I said, I think the new sculpt and face print looks a lot better and i think it looks a lot more like the character um with these side by side this one doesn't even look like omega in my opinion but uh yeah that is how they look together then here she is with the rest of the squad here is let me move them up here here's hunter here's tech and here is Wrecker. I do not have Echo, unfortunately. Hopefully I'll be able to track him down at some point, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, but there she is with the other three there. I think she scales and looks really nice with them. So overall, I think the Omega is a good figure. Um, I think it's definitely an upgrade over the first Omega. Um, that being said, I don't think it's a must buy figure. I would only buy it if you are a fan of the character and if you are getting the rest of the Bad Batch Walmart exclusive. If you're getting this team, then it's worth getting to complete the team. Um, if you're a fan of the Bad Batch and completing the team, you're going to want her. But outside of that, I don't see a huge reason to bother picking this one up. Um, unless maybe you can get it on sale or something, because uh, the full retail price uh, is a bit of a tough pill to swallow for this figure. As you can see, she's significantly smaller than the other characters. I wouldn't say she's got a ton of paint after anything going on, and I wouldn't say she even comes with a ton of extra accessories or anything like that. So... Yeah, a little hard to justify the price on this one. Um, but if you are going to complete the squad, I think it's a must get. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know anything down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video. May the force be with you.